Hello, my name is Sanna Vara. I live in the far north of Finland on an old farmhouse in a small countryside village of 25 people. I create photographs, videos and music inspired by this wild Nordic nature I get to live surrounded with. Hello there! I've had a few requests of making a home tour video of our house that we moved in um, about four months ago and I think now would be a great time to do so. So, are you ready? Welcome to our house. <laughs> so, when we first step in, we have here Ulko Eteinen, which is like an outer entry room. <laughs> this is cold in the winter time, but it still keeps the most of the snow and the frost away from the inside. So, as a typical traditional old log house, this is a very important room actually. <laughs> But in the summertime, the doors are almost always open and we just keep our shoes here. And I have a little herb garden here. I would have wanted to have more, but we were so busy during the spring that this was all that I could do. But still, I have my own herb garden. <laughs> step inside after Ulko Eteinen there is Sisa Eteinen <laughs> which is like the inner entryway. It's just basically a hallway where we have all the toilets, where we have one toilet, one teeny tiny toilet and a shower that we renovated in this house because we didn't have any hot water when we moved in but now we do. So this is our entryway. <laughs> I have wildflowers basically in every single room, including the bathroom, <laughs> because I absolutely love them in the summertime. I think they are so, so, so beautiful. These kind of rugs are super traditional in a Finnish old house. These are called rasumatta. And the these ones were made by the previous owner. Hey, Papu! <laughs> Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, the previous owner made these and she was kind enough to leave these for us. So we are keeping these as a treasure here in the entryway. After the hallway, we come to a main bedroom, which actually we call in Finland chambers, kamari. It sounds like a castle thing, but it actually isn't. This is a very traditional thing in Finnish old houses that we have pikkukamari and isokamari, like a smaller chamber and a big chamber. Usually they're just bedrooms or guest, guest bedrooms. So this is the big one, so our main bedroom. <laughs> here my woolen sweaters. I've actually knit most of them myself. I knit a lot and I love all kind of handicrafts and I need a lot of them <laughs> because it's cold in the winter time, probably also inside the house and I use a lot of them. And I like to keep them on display because I think they're pretty with all their natural colors and woolen feeling so it's kind of a cozy feeling for me 
Also all my dresses are here hanging on the wall. They are for my photos and for my videos. I like to wear this kind of old, usually white dresses and I want to keep them on the wall because they are an inspiration to me. So whenever I see them here, I feel like, hmm, I want to make this kind of photo or I could use that dress to that kind of photo, etc. So I love to keep them on display too. We have six fireplaces in the house. <laughs> this is one of them. This is in our main bedroom. And this is the main source of heat in this room during the winter time. Here's a little <laughs> patch I made. I tried to fix this, uh, but not the prettiest one, but it works. <laughs> Here is Papu's sleeping place. Apparently she thought that this day is over already and she went to bed. Well, she's an old lady so she can sleep whenever she wants. Yeah. <laughs> and here is our main room. We call this Pirti, but I checked that there is no word in English for Pirti. But this is the room that we probably spent the most time in in front of the fireplace and in a huge dining table that we have. There is such an amazing feeling in this room. I don't know if I can explain it, but all the wood in this room is so old. Our house is built entirely from these big logs and this is built in 1848, which is 175 years ago. In this room you can totally feel it because the wood on the walls, they are so thick and so strong that there is no place that you can find this kind of old wood anymore. I can only imagine how much this house has seen in those 175 years. It's, it's amazing and I think you can so feel it in here that this is an old house and it has seen a lot of history. This is our wooden oven. There's a fireplace on the side and in here there's like a two meter hole that we burn a lot of big wood. And this is also a big, big, big oven. <laughs> so it's the main source of our heat in the winter time. Back in the old days before there was electricity in this house, this was the main source of light in this room. This is a rather big room, so people used to sit here beside the fire and do some chores or fix something, especially in the winter time when the sun doesn't come up at all. <laughs> the nights and the days are really, really dark. Also for me, I like to sit here and do my handicrafts, especially during the winter time. <laughs> Lot of old tools on the wall and they were here already when we moved in and it's a fun thing to discuss with people who come here that do they know what these were used for because all of these are just basic stuff that people used to use back in the days but now for me too they are just really weird old wooden stuff <laughs> on the walls. I think it's fascinating. I think it's fascinating to hear what these are used for and think about how life has been in here a hundred years ago or 150 years ago when everything had to be made by hands and everything had to be done by hands and with the most simplest tools. So I want to keep these on the walls to remind <laughs> that I'm here shooting on a highly efficient digital camera that is like an absurd thing for people who used to use these. We 
have here two aerial pictures of our house and I love this because this is like a history line. This first one, this is from the 1960s and that's the last time that people have actually lived here, lived in our house full time and after that this has been just a summer place. So we're the first ones to live here after the 1960s. You can see in the picture that there were so many other buildings here that doesn't exist anymore. Like there were many barns and stables and places to keep sheep and pigs, but they have torn those down. And the second one is from 1990s, which is kind of a modern age already. And here is an empty space and I feel like that calls for the picture to be taken now that we have moved here and this is like the era of us. So I am definitely going to take this kind of aerial photo of our house and of the village this summer and frame it and put it here. It's like a beginning of a new era of this house. Then we have our kitchen. I absolutely love this because I'm not much of a cooker or a baker, but the last place that I lived in, that tiny cabin, the kitchen was so small that only one person could fit do anything there. So this, that we have a big table and a lot of space there and a dishwashing machine, <laughs> dishwasher machine. Anyway, <laughs> that feels like a luxury. This is a fully working kitchen in an old house and I absolutely love it. This is one of our six places where to keep fire in the winter time. This is a really old style traditional wooden stove and it's fully working. I love to make coffee or make my every morning porridge in there during the winter time. This is probably one of my favorite things in this whole house. I somehow, I like the looks of it. I like it that it looks handmade. There are like natural stones in here and everything is a bit crooked. Like everything in this house, you cannot find straight wall or straight surface here. <laughs> but I love it. Like that's life. That's how life is supposed to be. Like if you look in the nature, there's nothing straight here. So why our creations should be perfect and straight and just neat and tidy. So I love this little crooked wooden stove. <laughs> is the little chamber, kamari, <laughs> which is now our guest bedroom. This used to be our music studio. We had all the music equipment here, but since we just finished our studio in the barn outside, we finished it like yesterday, we have moved all the stuff away from here already. And I was thinking I could make my editing space here because I want to have my own working space somewhere. But now this is just a guest bedroom and probably my little working studio after that. why I don't see everything needs to be really super neat and tidy and straight. This is the oven of our guest bedroom and I think this is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> it's like super crooked, it's 
basically just piled handmade stones on top of each other, but I think it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And also there's a um, little bit more of my fixings. <laughs> you can see them quite far away, but when it's not perfect in the first place, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect at the end. So I think it's just perfect like this. Reindeers in our backyard. <laughs> this is not uncommon at all. Very typical. <laughs> Actually, this one we call the unicorn because it only has one horn, as you can see. And it's eating the wildflowers. Quite a cute one, as long as it stays away from the garden. <laughs> so, that was our house. Thank you so much for hanging with me here the whole tour and this house it means a lot to me this is like a lifelong dream come true I've always wanted this kind of old house and I feel so privileged that I can now live here and call this my home so thank you for hanging with me tonight and I hope to see you very soon good night <laughs>